Today in this edition of Unboxing with a Rocket Scientist, we're going to take a look at the Estes So Long Rocket Kit. There are many unboxing videos for model rockets, but wouldn't you like a real rocket scientist opinion of the materials and parts in the kit? Today you'll actually find out the inside information so that you know what to look for when you get a rocket kit. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan, and yes, I am a real rocket scientist. Today we're going to unbox the Estes So Long Rocket Kit. Now, full disclosure, this is not my first time opening up this package. Um, when we first got this kit here at Apogee, I wanted to take a look at it because uh, they have a new nose cone on this kit that I've never seen before. So I wanted to take a look at that. So we actually did build the rocket. And this is what it's going to look like when you're done. We haven't put the decals on it yet, but that's kind of what it looks like. And we wanted to figure out if there was anything new and interesting. And yes, there are a few things that are worth talking about. Um, so, but let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, first, you'll notice it's, a, as you saw, it's a pretty long kit. Um, the length on it is 46.2 inches and it's 29 millimeters in diameter. Now this is minimum diameter. That means that the, the tube is the same diameter as the rocket motor. This is a 29 millimeter motor, so this is a 29 millimeter tube. Um, so it's a tall, skinny rocket. Um, one of the reasons the name is so long is because it is a long rocket. And the other reason, as we'll find out, is that this rocket is designed to go really high. Estes markets it as their highest flying model rocket ever. Um, now, this is not the highest flying model rocket. That one belongs to our Apogee Components Aspire rocket. Uh, this one is the one that Estes that they make, this is their highest flying rocket. So I just wanted to get that out of the way because the Aspire will fly higher even though it is a single stage rocket. Uh, but this is a two stage rocket which makes it really cool in its own right. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So I'm just cutting open the bag. And first we have that colorful face card that has the marketing on it. They, they say that this is gonna go 3,600 feet on, uh, on two F engines. And opening it up inside, um, the first thing we notice is that it's a bag within a bag. <laughs> That's interesting. Double bagging it. I don't know why they would do that, but let's, let's take a look. Well, first thing that we notice is this, the nose cone that I talked about. This is a long, skinny nose cone. It's a conical shape, um, and I can tell by the feel that this is polystyrene. Um, it's hard. Um, it paints really nice. The paint's going to stick to it. Um, it's got a weird looking little protrusion on the bottom end, and I don't know what that's all about. Uh, but this right here is the eyelet for the strings for the parachute and the shock cord. Um, yeah, other than that, um, pretty standard nose cone, pretty nice. Um, next we have the body tubes, and there's a bunch of tubes in here. And that's what makes this a long, long rocket. Um, so we have tubes that are nested inside. Ooh, look at that. We got surprises on the inside of these things. So I just want to make sure I got them all. Hope I don't. One more. <laughs> We've got white tubes and a yellow tubes. Um, Okay, so the white tubes are for the rocket itself. Um, this um, will be the tube coupler to couple the parts of the rocket together. Um, and there's probably, nope, not sure how that goes, but I'm sure it works just fine. Um, oh, one's the booster stage. Uh, and then it seems like I'm missing a coupler or something, but we'll, figure that out. These are made out of um, craft paper, 
Um, and these feel very stiff, and so that means it's a thick wall tube, which is really nice. That means it's gonna take a beating. Um, normally they, they make their uh, coupler a different color just so you can tell it apart. But you can tell it by, you know, that it, it fits inside the tubes. Uh, I got two couplers. There we go. Now I understand. <laughs> All right. So those are the couplers in the tubes. That's really nice stuff. Now, what are these two yellow ones for? Um, normally, they use these as spacers. And, and that's exactly what goes on. Um, in fact, you actually have to tape them together um, because in the kit, um, Estes has you put an engine block up into this tube. And these tubes are the same length as the Estes motors. And to get that engine block in the right spot, the, the, the weird thing about this kit is that you don't put the engine in on the booster stage from the bottom. You actually put it in from the top. And you're gonna to wanna to use a booster motor with a zero on the end. So this is an F15-0. Um, there's also an E16-0 that would work. Um, so you'll put that in from this end. Um, and then your upper stage motor will go into this end. Um, but to make sure that you have as you can see, uh, as I slid it in, it stops. It's hitting the motor block inside. Um, and to make sure that you have it in the right spot, you'll put these two together like this and then slide it into the upper tube so you can get that ring in the right spot. Um, so that's the purpose of these two yellow tubes. Um, let's go on to the next thing here. Um, this right here is a paper, and these are stiffeners for the fins. On the booster stage, and we'll get to the fins, these are massively huge fins. They stick out really far. Um, and this booster stage will come tumbling down and one of the reasons you need such big fins is not only for stability going on up, on the way up, but so that it tumbles on the way down. Um, you got this big, heavy engine casing that's going to be inside, and that makes it heavy, and we need to slow it down. So that's what these big fins are for. But the problem with big fins is that because of the moment arm here, this is engineering speak, um, they can snap off easily. So Estes provides these paper reinforcement pieces to go along here to make that glue joint a lot stronger. So make sure you put those on or otherwise your fins are gonna break off every time this booster stage lands. Um, so that's that um, inside of this bag. Let's see what we got here. All right, so here we have a rubber shock cord. Estes likes to use rubber for their shock cords. Um, so this is, you know, very wide. So this is quarter inch wide. So this is stronger and it's pretty long. It's, uh, it's gotta be at least four feet unstretched. Um, and then it looks like we have, instead of a parachute, we have streamers. And this is um, bright orange streamer material. Um, and there's two of them. That's interesting. Um, normally I'd use one long one. Let me take a look at this rocket. It comes down as one piece. Um, it has a payload tube up here. Um, the nose cone does get glued on the, the front. Um, so we have two streamers. Um, and then I was talking about those two engine blocks. Uh, one of the engine blocks is glued on the back end of the um, booster stage to prevent the motor from coming out the back. And then one goes into the upper stage. Uh, this is for the base of the sh uh, shoulder or the, the coupler. Uh, because like I said, this got a payload tube on the front. Um, so this will give you a place to attach your streamers and your shock cord. 
uh, we have two launch lugs, and these are unusual for Estes because these are quarter inch in diameter. And Estes doesn't have a quarter, yes, they do. Uh, they do have a quarter inch launch rod. Um, so this will go on the like a medium sized launch pad. You don't want to use a small launch pad for this rocket because it's so big and long and with the rocket motors in it, it's going to be heavier. So that's why you go with a quarter inch launch lug. Um, also in here we have warranty information and launch site dimensions so you can figure out how big of a field this uh, rocket's gonna need. Um, now this is two F engines, which is the equivalent to a G engine. So uh, Estes re recommends a minimum a launch site dimension of a thousand feet on a side. I'd go further than that because it's gonna go really high. But the, the nice thing is with the streamer, it's gonna come down pretty fast. Um, so that's that. Let's see what else we got in this bag. There's a lot more parts here. Clear off some space here. All right, so these is a decal, and this yellow piece right here is a protective layer just to keep these uh, decals from getting scratched up. Um, now these are water slide decals, and that's why the blue paper kind of gives it away, plus the extra protection of this sheet. Um, so these are water slide, like I said, what you do is you cut them out you soak them in water and the clear film will actually slide off and you'll just slide it onto your rocket. Um, and it looks like we have a decal of one for each of the fins. Yes. Um, so we got water slide decals. Put these back covers back on to protect them. Um, and then we have the balsa fin sheets, and there's three fins, and on each one we have the booster stage and the upper stage. This is one eighth inch thick balsa wood, so that's pretty strong, pretty rigid. Um, yeah, I don't think you'll have any problems doing those fins. Those are nice, they're laser cut. Um, but on this one here, there's this piece of wood is actually, this is actually a combination piece of wood. It looks like that it was spliced together right here along this line to make it wider. Um, it's just this piece of wood, which is unusual. Well, actually this one too. But that one's a single piece. Um, but it shouldn't matter. Um, it, it should be just fine. It looks pretty good. Um, and then also the last piece, yeah, this is the last piece, is the instruction sheet. And it's um, eight pages. Uh, and they did something unusual in this one as well. So look on the front and you'll notice everything is black and white, but if you open it up on the inside, they actually have some color printed on their instruction sheet. That's pretty unusual to add extra color because that makes the instructions a lot more costly to make. Uh, but Estes, uh, they do a really good job on their instructions. Lots of illustrations. Like on this one right here, it shows the two streamers attached to the, uh, the shock cord. Um, yeah, that should work just fine. Yep, uh, just taking a look at them. They look good. The, the illustrations are well illustrated. I don't think you'll have a problem putting this together. Um, they do call this kit, let's see what skill level they call it. They call it an advanced. So on a scale of one to five, this would be a three. So it's kind of like right in the middle. So it's not your beginner kit, um, but it's not like so hard that you wouldn't be able to do it. So this is a, an advanced level, which is on the Apogee scale, we call it a skill level three. So this is the So Long rocket. And one of the reasons they name it So Long is because it's gonna go so high that you might wanna say So Long. <laughs> You'll get it back. You'll get it back. Just have a big launch site 
and launch on a nice calm day. Um, oh, one other thing. Um, these, uh, the rockets, um, you can't use these with the Aerotech motors. Uh, this is an Aerotech motor and you'll notice on the back end, it has a raised area right there. And this is the nozzle. So the nozzle would have to be on the back end. Um, and it won't go in this way and it won't go in that way. Um, so you do need to use the Estes um, black powder motors that don't have a raised end um, so that you can slide it all the way into the tube. Now you could use the Aerotech motors in the upper stage if you just fly the upper stage by itself. Um, that will go in and it will, will, will butt up against this back ring right or the back of the tube like that and you just wrap tape around it to hold it in uh, but some motors like this is a g motor um, now that hits that engine block and now the engine hangs out too far and this is going to throw off your center of gravity make the rocket unstable so you can't use a long motor in here unless you leave that engine block out but if you leave the engine block out then your estes motors will fly through. <laughs> so you're pretty much committed to just using, you can use an F motor, which is still gonna be pretty high, but you can't stage it uh, with the booster. Um, so that's just one of the limitations of the rocket, but it's, it's still gonna go really high with, with the single use F motor. So this is the Estes So Long. Uh, we got it unboxed here by me, and yes, I am a real rocket scientist. So may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.